This is Camp Kennedy. What's up everybody? So I'm really excited because the front yard is completely taking shape. It's exceeded my wildest expectations. So you guys remember the original aquascape pond. We had the fence here, but we've opened it up. Now we have all this. I've been putting the fence together using some fence posts, some farm posting, and I had some wire laying around and I've created this overhang. So now if a turtle or tortoise comes over and they're feeling somewhat acrobatic, they're going to try and climb up. But this overhang will certainly keep them contained inside this area. We've got plenty of grass for the tortoises to eat. Lots of habitat for the animals because you guys know I love space, right? But here's what's going on. So we've got this all set. A lot of work I've been doing, guys. It's all I've been doing around here. New pathway. Um, here's the new aquascape pond, the aquascape ecosystem ponds right over here, Sophia's. Um, loving, you know, what's been happening. So whenever you build one of these water features, people just tend to gravitate towards it. As you can see, we've been sitting out here. So I was kind of thinking, why not do a little fire pit right out here in the front yard, man? I don't care. I'm crazy. So we'll do a little bit of a fire pit. We've got the cactus garden over there. We've got some banana plant that'll be growing. Um, all these plants I already had. I just transferred them. I just moved them around a bit. Um, but here it is, and look how nice and clear it looks. Of course, the biofalls are working perfectly. Uh, the plant life is starting to come back. It's starting to get green again. We've got some African cichlids in here. You saw the video with the koi. Got four koi, so I'm really feeling good, feeling good about this. I also took rebar, metal rebar, cut it, drove it into the ground, and I used this bamboo as just more of a backdrop, a nice backdrop. And again, it also aids in keeping the tortoises and turtles contained inside this habitat. But here's what's gonna go on. I'm really excited about this. So we're gonna complete this fence, but I'm holding off. I thought I'd have a video ready introducing the animals, but because I'm a lunatic and because I happen to have some good friends from Aquascape and they gave me a few products, uh, here's what has to happen, okay, folks? Oh, by the way, take a look at the crocodile skull that's just living right there now. I'm pretty stoked on that. Kyle gave that to me a while back, so we got a cool little addition to the waterfall. But anyhow, here's what's gonna happen. Uh, as you know, the Aquascape guys are here and they're helping me with this new uh, recreation pond, but this area looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Don't think. So yeah, I thought- it needs a little help. It needs a little help. You know what happened, to be perfectly honest? Max, my cat, uses that as his litter box, which is disgusting. Um, I vowed no more furry animals after Max flutters on up to that farm upstate. But anyhow, Never, ever again. Are never, ever again. Mark my words. I will not have a furry animal ever again. And what about when those cute critters come up and say, I want a puppy? Or oh, what, what cute critters? The children? Yeah. Oh, I can say no to children pretty easy. <laughs> not a problem. They get lizards. Sophia got a lizard, Leo can have a lizard or a turtle or a snake or something. So anyhow, we'll just hide that poop right there. But <laughs> here's what's gonna happen. So I was talking to Ed from Aquascape and uh, I said, Ed, how difficult would it be with the materials that I have? I've got rock, I've got a big liner. Um, how can I make a little stream that starts here and just meanders? I wanna do it. I wanna take a stab at my own Aquascape ecosystem stream and then tie it into the existing pond. And Ed tells me that's not that hard. What we would do is we just have it come in here and we dig, a, dig out here a little bit so the water would pool up and then fall right over into here. Now, I don't even need another pump because they gave me such powerful pumps that are operating the jets below and the uh, biofalls here that what I can do is tap in with a PVC T, some more flexible hose, bring that hose around back here have a little bit of a ball valve, create some back pressure, and that'll keep the biofalls going, but allow enough water, water to trickle out and create a nice slow meandering stream right here. So now folks, the entire front yard will be an aquascape ecosystem. How cool is that? A foam moat. It'll be a foam moat, exactly. <laughs> It'll be, uh, what is it? It's only a quarter of the way around my house, but hey, 
That's pretty cool. Now we just need to add the alligators. Every castle needs a moat. That's correct. And this is my castle. Well, it's our castle. Kate and I's castle and the kids. But I just think this would really tie the whole front yard together. One beautiful aquascape ecosystem front yard. That's the way to live, man. I want to invite nature into the home, into the yard. Birds will use it. We'll have some, uh, of course, we'll have the Chinese box turtles. We'll have the elongated tortoises. So just think of my front yard as an Asian turtle habitat. How sick is that? I love it. Can't wait to get all the animals back in. So stay tuned. We'll be bringing you that build. I can't wait for it. Obviously, I've got a lot going on here, so you're gonna have to bear with me, but enjoy the cool sights and sounds of what I've got going so far, because it is amazing. And there are the three amigos, the Oscars, just waiting for some food. I'll tell you what I can't believe is how clear the water is. It's incredible, like, man. Both ends, it's insane. It, you know, it's really, that's the whole aquascape system, you know, basically they, they have all these ingredients that allow for this kind of water quality. The rocks, the liner, the plants, the animals themselves, um, those are all key ingredients to creating this ecosystem, the micro habitat. Um, I've been learning so much while hanging out with all the guys from Aquascape and just seeing how they use science to kind of aid in the construction and in the manufacturing of all these amazing products. So it was funny, like years ago, I got sponsored for bike wheels. I got sponsored for bikes, uh, clothing. And it's so cool that I have at my fingertips these people that know how to create these habitats. We share information. I tell them what's good for turtles. It's a really cool collaboration that we've been doing with Aquascape. And, um, you know, I feel like the, the most spoiled child on earth because I get to be friends with these guys and they want me to build this stuff. It's insane. I'll keep doing it. Oh, by the way, here comes Ed now. He was gonna, I was gonna have Ed come in and explain to me a little bit. Ed, so I was just, I was just talking to everyone on the channel yeah. um, about what I wanna do with this little stream here. Um, and we were talking about the ingredients to that clear water. Yeah. So I know you guys have a five part uh, ingredients we to do. Crystal Clear Pond. What is that? Yeah, exactly. So we have pumps and a recirculation system. So pre-filter, plumbing, pumping system. We have a biological filter, uh, upflow biological filter, which is going to house all the bacteria and enzymes. We have rocks and gravel. Okay. We have aquatic plants and we have fish. Cool. So you put all those different things together in the right amounts. Right. And it works. It does work. <laughs> well, the, the key is right yes. here, guys. I mean, look at that water. I almost want to take a sip. It's like, it's uh, amazing. And that's why it's so cool for my tortoises. See, even the land-based animals are drawn to water. They it. need to live around streams. If you go out in the wild uh, with certain species, like the elongated mountain tortoise, some of these species of tortoise live near cool streams because they have a small range. Right. These are animals that don't wander very far. They're creatures of habit. They need to know where the water is. And what's really gratifying for me is when I see some of these natural areas that we have here, yep. some of these low areas, the tortoises know which are the safe areas to drink from. Hmm. Obviously up, up in that first pool, and then down here I see a lot of that. Now, what we were discussing the other day is making this stream really not difficult to tie into what you guys no, have done. No, it's, right? it's not at all. You know, I mean, we have the existing pump, which we actually have plenty of volume on there. Okay. We could easily break into that line, put a T yep. with a valve, and we could steal away a small percentage. It's awesome. not going to be a roaring waterfall Don't or anything, need it. but it could be a nice little meandering stream. It'll enter back in somewhere over in here. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it'll be perfect. That's very um, cool. The depth of it could vary. Okay. Um, loaded up with some different types of aquatic plantings and things like that. And, and man, it becomes another be, biological focus. You got it. <laughs> very cool. I'm um, kind of spoiled right now. These guys got to get back to work. He's got to run back over and complete the massive aquascape <laughs> ecosystem pond that we're building. Uh, but I think this is going to be something we're going to be messing around with in the next couple of weeks. I'm going for it, Ed. Awesome. You're only a phone right. call away. Uh, you got it. All right, dude. Thanks. <laughs> no All right, everyone. There you go. Another episode of Camp Cannon uh, finished. But as you can see, the work here is not. This I consider my masterpiece, my home. Uh, it's a place where animals can be safe, where you guys can learn, and that's what we're doing here. So if you like the videos, why not you like and subscribe them? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Camp Cannon Army channel, whole nother channel of Camp Cannon content coming at you. Plus, go on over to patreon.com slash Camp Cannon where you can help us make these videos and see some supplemental information, supplemental content. And as always, please go to my Instagram page. I'm trying to get to 100K on Instagram. Can you help me? Follow me at Camp Cannon on Instagram. More videos of the animals, more talking, more fun, and that's it. We'll see you next time.